Lawrence, what are we playing? A uh, medieval, the coolest game ever made. I know, you've already told us. <laughs> <laughs> but we lost the audio. Well, that's We're okay. What's cool about it? Can we get a really quick recap? Whoa! You're about to fight uh, the Whoa, corrupt the spirit is here! Fight? No time! I must slay the corrupt spirit! <laughs> I mean, it's convenient that the game ah. just got cool. I was gonna say, Lawrence didn't actually know that we were supposed to be recording I, or not. He thought that we were ow. just coming into the room to watch him do what he was gonna do on his lunch Isn't break. that what this job is? You guys watch me do cool stuff. That's true. It keeps hitting bricks on That's the way. That's what I'm saying, yeah, Stop. the debris. Yeah. Stop hitting. Yeah. Okay, what is that? When it when it goes warpy, is that yeah. you doing something? That's his his fire alt firing the purple ribbon gun, which yes. is like the BFG. Oh, he's black hole. Oh, it did a lot of damage. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just a ow, Solnado. He's throwing some stuff at me. Whoa. Solnado is a great way to describe that. I stole it from Mortal Kombat. I feel like Solnado could be a genre of its own. Ooh. If you mix maybe soul Nadecore. with ska. <laughs> is there the a perfect. difference? Yeah. <laughs> it's the song of my people. Uh, there's four kinds of mana that correspond to all of the yeah, various weapons in the game. Of mana. There's axe. <laughs> the axe of my cleave. Yep, that's it. Got the uh, staff of uh, Sapphiricus. Yep, that's that is the. The sword of cut, cut, cut slash. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, earlier when you were like mocking him by pushing yeah. up your glasses, I've learned that that doesn't mock, mock no. him. He doesn't understand it, it as a mocking. It makes he me just stronger. says like, "Oh yeah, I should push up my glasses so I can read." <laughs> Is that a wall? It's or a can portal. You walk in. Portal to the nether. Do it. Do it. Nether realm. Did you do it? I completed the ancient sanctuary, Ooh, but I no did not secrets, find the though, secret. That's embarrassing. Pretty good at this How game. How many levels are there with this game? Whoa, oh, boy. Welcome back, champion. Thank you. Oh, finally, a woman that appreciates you for all the skills that you have. Yes. Aha, this is the staff of you have Hieronicus. Oh. You have all the weapons in the game, all seven? They, no, they. every time you start a new chapter, they reset you. It's oh. like classic shooters. Yeah, you gotta get them all again. Whoa. I just can't believe a game for the Sega Saturn looks this good. <laughs> I know. They really, they really worked on the frame rate. I got that RAM expansion, so... What the fuck are you? What? Who are those? A little, little mystic some person. Kind, you know yeah, what? some kind of mage. Crystal Borgs. No! Away, beast. Jesus. Dodge me, snake. Aha! <laughs> Didn't really try. Kill me! I don't like that the tiles look better than everything else. Yeah, I know. Tone it down. Well, it it's is like, it's still pixelated. That's. I guess. Here's one of the cool things about this game, of uh, many cool things about this game, <laughs> is that even though it's like running in high resolution on modern, modern rendering shit, they still make everything really pixelated. So mm -hmm. like, the edge of the sword is not rendered in like, 1080p, even mm -hmm. though the game engine is running in that. Yeah. Mm. All the all the textures are still super pixelated, even though they're really crisp and look really good. I, I appreciate the look of this game, even though it's something I never want to look at. <laughs> I appreciate that it exists. Could it leave, please? Yeah. I mean, I never. want to burn it all with fire. Don't get never. me wrong. <laughs> oh, the swiggle swerve. Hiya! God, oh, that thing's cool. <laughs> oh, that's your old fire for the axe. Yeah. Oh, it's not gonna no, cut down any trees. Already. You can do that forever? Oh, wait, no, until the bar runs yeah, out. Yeah, the timer runs out. If you keep picking up souls, though, it extends your time. Meaning you can get a kill gasm. I just if made that up. If you keep picking up souls, it extends time. It does. It doesn't bother yeah, him. Right, He's I'm just sorry. like, that's how I sound. He just is, hears it as normal. Yeah. This is what I've learned after years in the incel subreddit, is that you just have to own it. I think that that means that you've won more than any of them have won ever. <laughs> It's true, I have. Like ah! that, that, I think that makes you not an incel. Also, you have a girlfriend. Well, you know. He doesn't have sex with her, though. Yeah. <laughs> I respect her too much to have sex with her. He has to choose between his allegiance as an incel and the love of his girlfriend. But you and can't the, be an incel if it's a choice. Them's I think, the, I think you've breaks. just hit the core of the issue there. Well, I guess that's a good point, because the idea of it being a choice is I mean, sure pretty much nonsense for everyone there anyway. They just say that it's not a choice, but it is a choice. Yeah. Speaking mm. of research, I finally looked up specifically what red pill means. Okay. It's kind of interesting. Okay. All right. It's essentially the concept that women only ever date up. No woman will ever date somebody that's like less attractive than them. Interesting. Um, yeah. So, because of that, there is a disproportionate a focus of sexual privilege given to the like top twenty percent of men, mm. whereas the bottom eighty percent. That's screwed. Women being evil as they are, would never deign to date somebody this, who has any minor physical imperfections. This, True. this, hold on, that argument completely goes out the window when you consider other false arguments that women only want money. What? Right? How can you, how can you resolve uh, both of those at the that? same time? Is that beta bucks? 
<laughs> well, like you can look max, and oh, I think I think it's like it's wage maxing. I think is yeah. what you like. I think the idea you max is that out a stat. It's funny because it's it's a pure man's vision of the world, but the idea that every woman evaluates a man mathematically, uh -huh. and so looks and stature are part of it. Wealth is too a societal uh -huh. stature. All yeah. those things kind of compute into an attractiveness score. Uh -huh. Every woman will like always go thirty percent above their attractiveness score in the world because they have a vagina and therefore power. Because okay. um, that's you know women have it's always the had equivalent power. of power. That's that's always been the case. Yeah. It requires a very immature perspective on what attraction actually is. A also pure true. looks based thing, or hey, can you have a good conversation with this person? Do they share similar interests. Do you like what they do for a living or their goals for their life? There's a lot of things that go into what attraction actually should mean. But when you isolate it to the most basic definition. Then yes, you're bound to be wrong. <laughs> Let's go to Dave and Buster's and cruise for incels. We should. And just like take them under our wing. You think you could convert an incel, Lawrence? I've tried. How'd it go? Poorly. People don't become incels because they want, they actually want to improve themselves. They become incels because they want an excuse about to how to not improve themselves. Going. Exactly. Correct, yeah. They want to be told it's out of their Seven control. Shit. Uh, don't shoot the moon at me. Okay. Yeah, I wow. like that they, they let it eclipse before they shoot it at you. That's that pretty, nice. that's pretty metal. Oh fuck! Wow, it's one of those things where like it's all it all boils down to insecurity. Uh, Three health, oh, you got God. it. He's behind you. If your worldview isn't isn't great, then you need a bunch of ah shit. Then you need oh. a bunch of people to sort of agree with you so you feel more secure. That's why churches exist. Boom, lighten them up. I don't know that they uh they want people to agree with them. I think that they just want to have an angry stance and like be able to yell it. And if you feel as though you're a victim of certain things, then the accountability is way less. You yeah. at least feel like you're the good guy. Ba bad guys are never the victim of anything. Mm -hmm. They're always the cause. Yeah. Yeah. Stephanie watches a lot of murder content, uh -huh. like a lot. Basically anything that involves a murder, she's into. Yep. And it's a it's a common trend both in the media and in people that murder their girlfriends or wives, which happens a lot in this world for some reason. It's a it's a recurring theme where like both both the media oh, and people frame it as like I was so heartbroken that I had to do this. And like, if only this woman had paid me this attention. It's just such a recurring thing. It's weird. Ooh, the star of torment. There was this one guy who killed his entire family because he got laid off from work and didn't want to tell them. I mm -hmm. shouldn't have laid him off. They took his pride it's away. It's true. Man, we're all just a bunch of crazy apes running around that's why shooting I, sparks out of the lasers. I, I think that's why empathy is so difficult. Hmm. It involves removing yourself from your own headspace and trying to plant yourself in someone else's. Yeah. But it's also so important because it's the only thing that keeps us from ripping each other's faces off. You guys missed it, man. It was it was all fun and lighthearted until the we figured out the audio wasn't recording, <laughs> and it was all incels and personal was, insecurity. Well, no, we was pretty much, it was pretty much the same that. thing. Yeah, but we did have that one conversation about how we should remarket guns with other yeah. uses, like hammers. Oh. Yes. <laughs> well, he's better now. Yeah. You only killed ninety-five percent of the people, though. And you only found one of five secrets, Lawrence. I know. You're gonna have to go back and do all these levels again. Holy crap. I'm in the infinite plane of arcane magics. I wanted to look up the other day, but I wasn't sure how to Google search for it. Ow. Ways that people have died on the set of a film. Like, like Twilight Zone? Yeah, like Captain Papa Landis. Uh, uh the Yeah, there's the Resident stunt, Evil uh, Someone got stunt shot woman. in their death scene in a movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bruce, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, yeah. Oh, Brandon. Brandon. You're right, sorry. Brandon, sorry. Have you seen uh, Game of Death? It's bad. Yeah. That's the that's the movie he was shooting basically around when he died. It's so good when Bruce Lee is in it and so bad when Bruce Lee is not. Ugh. But they were like, it's like just a bunch of people going like, what do you think, Bruce? And then it's the back of some generic Asian guy's head going like, <laughs> like thumbs up. And you're like, cool. Yikes. Did Twilight Zone still get released? Yeah. It did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They just didn't use it. And the, here's, the, here's the worst part. Mm. That was the alternate ending. They oh, already had no. it done. It was done, baby. Oh, God. That movie was done. And then they were like, eh, what about a different ending? Oh, shit. A Adam should be here to describe this, because his favorite director he is John Landis. Yeah. Some of the stunt work he did in Blues Brothers was not cool for the time. Like human beings just getting tossed around. I think the whole Landis family is perfectly sane. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know anything about the mom. <laughs> <laughs> is this a puzzle? It is. You got to hit the switches in order, so the... Shit. Oh, you just Ooh. need to get them up so you can grab the gold key. Yeah, but how do we get up there? How do I fall into a portal hole? Oh, oh. Well, this game asks you to use your mind, not just your brawn. Yes, I, I must, must become, become the ultimate, ultimate warrior. warrior. I must become the ultimate warrior. I'm going to become the ultimate warrior. You're going to be jealous of how ultimate I am. I can't mm. wait for you to He's be got jealous. It. He's going to do it. 
can't wait for your jealous uh, shit. I can make the jump, I bet. I bet I can do it. Watch this. A warrior would be able to War! make the jump. Missed it. You got it, you got it, you got it. This music is cheering me on. Yeah, this is what's killing all the time. Shit! Oh, oh, good recovery. It's dropping based off the time you're hitting the second button, right? Oh, is it? I oh, think is it? so. I think that corresponds to the second. So, one, two, three. Oh, I see three. what you mean. Yeah, now yeah, yeah. Go. yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, Ultimate warrior. Oh, yeah. Nothing is free in the world of what's this called? A medieval. Yeah, there you go. Got more it. Chris Darg you warriors. It. You've come Did to you? the wrong realm, Chris Darg. Oh, that one guy rode off the edge. Ah. Ah. What are those supposed to be? Oh, well, crystal bugs. Uh, just some yeah, kind of bug. Like bugs. When I was a kid, I want to say bugs compromised about 35% of my active thoughts. Just thinking about bugs or interacting with bugs. Hmm. I had, a, so I had a period of time where I, I thought about bugs a fair bit in my life. Maybe I haven't gotten mine yet. Yeah, you'll get that. Your bug face? When you hit puberty. <laughs> I'm still waiting. <laughs> oh, it's gonna hit you like a truck, man. The later it is, the harder it hits. Could you imagine mm. how lucky human beings would be if they got a second puberty? Dude, and not I, the shitty one like menopause. Yeah, that's what menopause is. <laughs> I'd be so good at puberty now. So oh. that's sort of what HRT is. Like, oh, yeah? people oh, yeah, who yeah. transition basically go through puberty again, and yeah. it's wild. I've always wanted to get a period just so I can I can feel the rush of, like, watching Steel Magnolias and having it just devastate me or something. It's real bad. It's not good. <laughs> not even the emotional part of it? I don't I, get that, I so. understand the instability would be frustrating, but if you, well, if you know you're- Well, it hurts, and it's- if you feel unclean. Michelle Branch music doesn't just, like, take you to another plane of existence no, or something? No, you just, like, I just sometimes want shitty food. Also, the wolves. Well, the danger He's makes it shock fun, repellent, though, right? you know. Oh, I'm in water. Cool. Crystal water. This game rules. I'm Is this the first planes. water level? Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, Chris Dark. Hey, they're chomping me. I love them. Don't I'm go chomping. too low, otherwise you'll probably yeah, fall through oh, the, yeah, right, the you water fall. surface floor. I've played inside. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> have you also played inside? I have, yes. <laughs> Classic inside joke. Thanks. <laughs> oh, James. Oh, my God. Oh. What a, what a joke. Bam. Oh, tubes. Cool. Uh, this game is cool. I'm sorry I made fun of you, mostly. That's okay. Most people apologize for making fun of me in the end. Boss fight! No, Alana, I'm used to, I'm used to being a tragic figure, really, in this, in this world. It took a long time for me to get over it, but I think I've done a pretty job! This is the mo biggest tragedy you could come up with right now. Yeah. Is him dying. Dying in a medieval. The signature vampire color. Yes, blue. <laughs> blue. They're actually saying blue it's all the, the time. I wanted to welcome you both. And you, the viewer, to the masquerade. They do what they want to do, say what they want to say, live how they want to live, play how they want to play. Mm. <laughs> we got to decide right now what kind of